o'clock in standing, obviously a very good weekend for you guys in St. John's. Three able to possibly four points and some strong play all around. Yeah, you know, under I don't want to use the circumstances as a result, but we had some travel issues, and uh, the guys battled hard Friday night. Um, you know, a couple calls go our way. Maybe uh, it could have been a different result, but we did play well. We had to battle back from three uh, different uh, goal deficits to uh, get to the, the overtime and shootout. And then uh, the next night, I, I thought we played well uh, for 60 minutes. They, they made a big push uh, once we got a three-goal lead. Uh, we got hemmed in a little bit, and, and, and maybe, there, maybe there was a little bending, but we didn't break, and it's a tough building uh, to play in. Uh, good atmosphere, but a very intimidating uh, building to play in. I thought the guys responded and played hard this weekend. Power play really started to pick up, really brought in some big points in all games for that team. That has to be good. Is there anything that you guys did differently, or is it just, you know, you've been with what you've been working on? Finally have it pay off. I think it's a little bit of both. I think we, uh, you know, we made some adjustments, and we just talked about moving the puck and 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 reading off each other, and, and not so much um, focusing on on a, a play or two, but reading what they they give you or what they don't give you. More uh, more importantly, and I think we did a good job of that. And we had a, a we were much more aggressive and, and had a, a shooter's mentality, which we've been preaching and. Uh, when we've done it, we, we've created more chances, and I think you break down coverage when you shoot the puck. Um, you know, we had a couple tip-in goals this weekend. We talked about net front, both power play and, and uh, five on five, and I thought we did a lot better job that. And then on the other side of it, penalty kill was, was huge. So we, we did a really good job in the specialty team battle, and that's going to have to continue uh, because these games are so tight. Something that you have to expect is going to happen. It does happen. A three and three, here it is. First three and three, all travel games. Uh, in Rochester, back at home in Atlantic City. It, it's something that most of the guys are familiar with, you're certainly familiar with. How do you make sure that you stay strong all three games? Well, I think we're at the point now where, you know, last weekend wasn't a real crazy schedule. I mean, two weeks ago, but there was, you know, we played three games in four nights there, and it was an afternoon after a, a Friday, Saturday uh, with travel there. And then, you know, uh, this this past weekend in St. John's was probably a little more taxing on us than it than it was supposed to be. And I think the guys really came together. And I think I think the road is good. Um, uh, we, 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 we probably need more of that right now. So this will, this will be a good test for us. And, um, you know, you're going to have quick turnaround. We may have an opportunity to utilize fresh legs. But I think as a player, once you get used to schedule, uh, you, you just you never get out of game mode. You know, we're not going to have a lot of time to practice. And I, I think with these three games in a row, uh, Saturday being a 5 o'clock, Sunday being a 4 o'clock, take the travel into account. Um, other than pregame skate Friday, we're not going to get on the ice for a practice. So uh, all those things uh, taken into account and, and what we've done the, the past two weekends, uh, I think have, will maybe prepare us a little bit for this weekend.